Academy. We're going to keep it rolling, Irfan. No stop. Just keep going. Get cool. through Can the I NBA give you a trade quick soccer talk. thing? Huh? Hold on. Quick soccer thing. Sorry. Oh, quick no. soccer thing. Bayern got destroyed. Bayern just conceded, just conceded four goals in 45 minutes. Yep. Okay. That's all. All right. Uh, yeah. NBA news. NBA news. NBA trade deadline has come and gone, and there was multiple small deals. I mean, yes. Porzingis is now a wizard. Hmm. Trying to think of anyone if anyone else is really worth. Oh, Serge Ibaka is with the Bucks now. Did you see that four team deal? Yeah, the, Marvin the fact- Marvin Bagley got sent to Detroit. Sacramento. Yeah, Sacramento. Oh yeah, from yeah, Sacramento. Sacramento. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Dante DiVincenzo. That was a surprise for me. I'm surprised they moved him because he was a huge part of their. But he's well, hurt. Milwaukee, right? Yeah, Milwaukee moved past three players, which yeah. was, I guess, her offloading and bringing in a buckle, which, again, playoff performer. Yeah. The Raptors the pick up Thad Young from San Antonio yeah. and get rid of Trogic. That guy's been sitting on the bench since November. What do you mean he's been sitting on the bench? He hasn't even been with the team. Well, it wasn't his last game in November, so I'm just yeah, saying like but he's he he hasn't been with the team. Yeah, well, he just he's, in my mind he's benched. Doesn't play. Except, uh, oh, Bull Bull is on yet another squad. He's playing with the Magic now. Yeah, uh, that was a that was a salary dump. By I know, but it's just boss. funny. I th- uh, I think it was Haley who said Bull Bull is going to play for all 32 NBA squads or be on every squad at one point. He's at like six or seven now. Hmm. Um, Nikhil Anders- Alexander Walker, the Canadian, is now with the Utah Jazz, which I think is a great place for him. That's nice. That's a good spot for him to be. Um, yeah, and those were the small trades. The small deal. Any of those really stand out to you before we move on to the, you know, the big one? Uh, yeah, let's move to the, the... There's a couple of big ones that happened over the last couple of days. But yeah, let's go to the biggest one. We're talking the big one, or phone, the one mm-hmm. that literally changed the, the the face of the NBA. Yep. And the two guys that were very, very unhappy in the Eastern Conference got their wish. James Harden and Paul Millsap are heading to Philly in exchange for Ben Simmons, Seth Curry, Andre Drummond, and two first round picks. Harden was very vocal. Well, sorry, let me correct that. He tried not to be vocal about wanting out because he didn't formally request a trade but had told them that he wanted out. I don't understand mm-hmm. how that makes sense. And Ben Simmons, as we know, um, just wanted out. Although, I'm looking now. did Was Millsap in that deal? Yes, he was. The the one on NBA.com doesn't have them in the, the trade, but I think everyone else reported that Millsap It's was. funny. If you click on it, yeah, click on that deal, it takes yeah. you to another page, and it has Millsap on it. Oh. Um, <sighs> yeah, I know. So, Simmons gets out of Philly after the just mess that was mm-hmm. in Philly this year with him not playing at all. Who won this deal or on at face value who won this deal? I say neither. Okay. And I'll say why. Because the Nets like the what the stat was, I think, um, with Kyrie, Durant, and Harden, they've played a total of what, sixteen games 16 and the record games, is yeah. thirteen and three. I'm like, that's actually really nice to see. And they're what nine games? They're losing nine straight games so far. But yeah, I was like, okay, so they 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 really haven't had their big three together to to really start anything. So I was like, kind of hoping that that would they would have a chance to do that down the stretch and kind of go into the playoffs and maybe make the Simmons trade in the off season and just let this happen. I think Philly, um, you know, they don't really win because like I'm very confused as to why you want a guy who's going to be on his second team by forcing his way out for the second one. This, that's why the air quotes happen. But like he didn't want to be in two locations. Why do you want him on your team? Why do you want to disrupt your 
your chemistry. Why do you want to disrupt the leadership and, and whatever's happening with Joel Embiid and whatever's happening with uh, Doc Rivers? Like, why are you bringing this guy in when you know for a fact that if you guys don't do well or you're going to struggle, he's going to find a way out. And he might be that common denominator. So that's kind of why I'm saying I don't think either team on the deal because they're coming up with a lot of the baggage of the players and a lot of baggage of attitudes. Um, but if we're looking at it from a face value to get to your question there, um, I think think Billy got fleeced because of those two freaking first round picks and then getting a guy who's serviceable and Andre, Andre German and, and Curry is a guy, Seth Curry is a guy that will play any position for you and play it well defensively as well while he's at it. Like he's a good solid player. Like he's off the bench, obviously, but, but he's a good player. Um, I think Simmons, it'll be very interesting to see if Simmons can, you know, he doesn't have to worry about pulling up a three because Kyrie and Durant can do that. Um, he has to just get into the hmm? he also can't no I know but like <laughs> but what I'm saying is that that pressure to take the three or to take a big shot isn't in his hands because the ball's going to Kyrie or the ball's going to Durant whereas in Philly it was either him or Embiid sure. and, and everybody knew if you covered Embiid oh Simmons not going to make that shot he's going to try and come in a little bit so I guess the pressure for Simmons comes off but he also hasn't played this season so uh, the Nets are going to try and incorporate him into the lineup maybe he comes off the bench so at the end of the day i think philly gave up a lot more for a guy who didn't want to be there at the end of like we, we talked about this right like it just like they shouldn't have had to give up so much it should have been just those three players for harden no picks sure. but i guess the inflation of of a trade deadline plus a big name like james harden uh and it does this for you i think it's also just they had to add something to get rid of Simmons. They had to sweeten the pot. Yeah. This guy hasn't played Doesn't... and no one really knows what to expect from this kid. This trade also reminds me of the the Nets and Boston trade where Boston kind of offloaded yeah. whatever they didn't want. Yeah, and then and all got, that. Yeah, and got picks galore, which helped them build their team that is now. So I mean I guess the Nets flipped Houston the script. Well. Yeah, yeah, they flipped the script and they got they got the coverage that they need for the next couple of years. I just don't know how Simmons fits in with that team. Like he's a ball handler going to a team that has Irving and Durant. Like, I'm sorry. Simmons is not a shooter. He's, he, he's not going to post up around the three point line or just inside the three point line and, and hit shots. It's not, it's not his game. He's a, ball, he's a guy who needs the ball in his hands. He needs to make plays. He needs to make passes. And you're putting that with Irving. Like, that doesn't, doesn't make sense to me at all. So, does, so the question that ends up being, is Simmons the cover for Kyrie? So when Kyrie's not on the court, that's when Simmons plays, and Simmons will probably get 12 to 15. Maybe? Hmm. But I don't think that works either. I don't know. I, I'm not really sure how this one's going to play out. I also don't know how Harden and Embiid are going to work together. I guess we'll see. Yeah, it's um, Embiid's team. Harden better watch out. It better be him. No offense. I don't think Harden's good enough to make his team. We're going to take a quick break here, Irfan. When we come back, Super Bowl. Yeah. We're going to crush out Super Bowl, all right? Stay tuned, folks. We will be back with our Super Bowl preview.